For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the NCAA cheese. In today's video, I have what's probably the biggest leak uh, to come out as far as um, NCAA is concerned. Since the game's been in development, there really hasn't been a lot of leaks. It's been a very, um, you know, tight-lipped, uh, close-to-the-vest project. EA really hasn't released a lot of information, and they really haven't here either. But it appears that they're holding an event in EA Orlando right now with a lot of industry insiders, and that's probably where the majority of this information is coming from. So all this information I'm going to give you guys is definitely legit it's definitely um, something you can take to the bank about this game and it's something that um, you know we're gonna be getting a lot more information in the future so if you guys want to stay up to date if you want me to continue to do these types of videos please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment sections and I'll continue to do them other than that's going to get right into the video now the information that I'm giving for you guys is coming from an industry insider by the name of Mike Straw uh, he did a twitch uh, stream uh, basically uh, releasing all this information live and asking a lot of questions just yesterday um, now, as far as this guy, he said at the beginning of the stream that he actually um, almost got in trouble one time uh, releasing some uh, early footage of UFC 5 uh, before it was allowed to be released. So he definitely is in the know. He's definitely a guy that's connected to, uh, to these things. So it, whatever he says, you can take it to the bank, like I said. But he's not in Orlando because, according to his Twitter, he has a two, he's two weeks away from having uh, expecting a baby, which could happen at any time. So that's why he's not there. But I'm sure he's getting fed a lot of this information from people that he knows that are there. So, like I said, a lot more information coming, including gameplay, which is one of the things that he uh, said. Within the, within the next week, probably the first week of June, we should expect gameplay for the public. As I'm sure all the people that are there right now, all the industry insiders are there right now, are probably getting their first either hands-on look at it or maybe even playing it a little bit based off the fact that you know this is that's typically what they do with these type of events so i'm going to go over uh, some things about some of the game modes first starting with online dynasty now online dynasty is probably one of the biggest things that and gameplay is one of the biggest things that they put the most effort into uh which should be no surprise online dynasty is essentially cfm if you play madden um obviously it's a little different because it's college uh there are going to be nil and uh portal in in those in this game mode so be aware of that he made mention of things like you know if you if a player and i mentioned this previously that I suspected this because it's very similar to, to CFM and Madden. He basically uh, said that if a player is not getting the type of playing time they want, they're going to want to transfer. So that's kind of like uh, Madden. You know, you got the conf you have the things called the confidence system or something, where basically if a player is on the bench. Um, and they're not playing, they're not going to want to resign. It's going to be the same thing. You have to keep these players happy by giving them the amount of playing time, maybe the amount of touches, which that goes into the wear and tear system, which I'll talk to in, uh, talk about in a minute. Uh, but that's something that's, um, you know, online dynasty, expect that to be uh, the focal point aside from gameplay. Other than that, when it comes to online dynasty mode, that's something that's not going to be cross play this year. They just added that to EA, and I think it's a really good function for, um, sorry, not EA, to Madden. And I think it's a really good function for Madden. I really have a lot of fun with it. I have a, a league right now with 32 subscribers cross platform and it's really cool but there are some bugs and i don't think that they wanted those bugs to ruin the experience of the game play in the first year uh, but it's something that they hope to add eventually another thing that they hope to add eventually that a lot of people that played ncaa 14 and prior games were hoping to have was mascot mode which it says it will likely not be in the game this year maybe that's something that they add later on uh, in a patch or something like that that's very likely or possible but it's not uh you know from from the game start you know, right out the gate, it's not going to be in the game. Another thing that they're saying that might not be in the game right away, but might be added is like early, early on, is Team Builder. It says it is basic, uh, but enough for people to be happy. I know a lot of people want Team Builder so they can create their uh, favorite teams. Me personally, I want to create Blue Mountain State. If you guys watch that, if watch that show, that show is amazing. I want to, I want to run as Blue Mountain State in one of these game modes. That'd be amazing to me. Party at the Goat House. I know a lot of people are thinking about that too because that was a very popular show about college football, fake college football. Um, but those, these are all things that um, you can hope for to eventually be added into the game. But even, even that, you know, it's like they say that too. Like I remember when they, when they were updating uh, the, the drafting system in Madden, that it wasn't. Uh, they said that they were going to put in, um, you know, a drafting system that really came out much later. So it's really hard to say whether it's true or false when these things are going to come out. But these are all things that they're aspiring to more than anything. So I don't know what they expect the, the actual time for this to be in the game. But these are all things that they're that they're working on. Let's just put it that way. Now, continue with more information about uh, Dynasty mode. Uh, it says there's no BCS option for Dynasty. It's playoff only. Uh, take that for what it is. I don't know how big of a deal that is. Um, there's a lot of information when it comes 
comes to um, you know Dynasty mode itself being really just like the focal point of this game. I know Road to Glory is something that a lot of people like to play. I don't, me personally, I don't really like to play those first person uh, type of Madden games like that and Superstar mode and stuff like that. I don't really think that that really has a ton of huge uh, replay value. Uh, but basically, in this game, they will they will obviously have that. Uh, there's still no confirmation on whether or not you're going to be able to import draft classes, uh, which I expect since they're selling Madden and uh, and <laughs> NCAA together. Um, but a lot of people are asking too: Can you can you uh, import your superstar or your uh, Road to Glory player into Madden? And there's no confirmation on that either. Now I want to talk about gameplay footage. Like I said, they're expecting g gameplay footage to the public by early June. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be different in the gameplay. The biggest one that they said was, and I mentioned this in previous videos because I remember playing NCAA games, that options offenses are really going to be where it's at. He went as far as to say that that might be the OP offense, and I don't know if it is or not, but I remember being the way to play back in NCAA uh, 14 or whatever game it was that I played last because I don't really remember what was the last NCAA game that I played, but option offense was always the way. Passing was way more difficult back in the day unless you had a really... Um, you know really great quarterback uh, but yeah and they're basically saying that number one they're saying that the speed of the game in this gameplay is going to be much faster um, and that's really going to be uh, a focal point if you run an option offense and they, they make it sound like um, it's going to be much more efficient than it is in Madden and if you run like you know pitch plays and stuff like that in Madden you'll notice a lot of times it, it results in fumbles it's not quite clean you might try to pitch the ball and you might get a bad animation and it results in a fumble and stuff like that they're saying that if you build your entire team around an option team and I'm sure that's similar to to like if you build like um you know specific uh schemes in madden if you build your team to be like an option offense that you're going to see that you know the team's going to do better in blocking it's going to do better in quicker handoffs better more efficient pitch animations the receivers might block better because obviously they're not going to be expected to catch as many passes so their job is going to be more about blocking and stuff like that so to me i, I already planned on doing uh you know the option being my number one focal point when i come play ncaa and that's because like i said it was just more fun in NCAA. That was always, to me, the, the most fun offense to run. But they're also suggesting that's also going to be the most OP. There's going to be a lot of um, stuff that's in Madden, too. A lot of plays around uh, these type of college-based offenses you don't really see in Madden that are not going to be available in Madden. So there's going to be a lot of unique plays, a lot of unique playbook options uh, that aren't ever going to be available in Madden. He also said a lot of unique animations because, obviously, college football is different. You can think, even in the trailer, they showed uh, a guy dragging one foot, which in college, you only have to have one foot in bounds. So it makes sense that they had to record a lot of new animations. But he said that there's hundreds of new animations when it comes to college football, uh, as this game is also the only game that's really been built on next gen from the ground up if you remember madden obviously was available on on uh and it's not next gen anymore it's current gen but on old gen when there was playstation 4 and xbox whatever um they were basically uh taking that game and porting it over to uh next gen and basically building it from there they didn't build it from the ground up i don't think because that's what they're suggesting here they're suggesting that this is the first game that started on next gen and being built from the ground up on next gen only which means that it's probably going to be the cleanest most polished version of any football game uh and hopefully you know hopefully all that's uh, that's the case hopefully this is the best version um of an actual football game because i know a lot of people are gonna are gonna play this uh probably more than madden i think this is gonna take over madden for at least the first year um uh, madden's got some catching up to do because i'm sure madden i'm sure the majority of the ea's power has been put into this game rather than madden to the point where madden 25 is probably just gonna be a roster update once again maybe with a few changes one of the bigger questions uh going into this game is is there going to be superstar abilities and x factors he didn't have an answer for that but he did suggest that um, you know. I mean, he said that the footage he saw was of like a like a navy game or an army game, I think. Which obviously you're not going to have a lot of superstars and stuff like that. But if you're worried about um, like the, uh, the the curve between regular players and great players, that which typically you have with superstar bow and stuff like that, he kept using the example that if you have uh, like a five star player going up against a two star player, that you're going to see a huge difference. And he also suggested that if you're playing against, he used it Buffalo as an example, but he said if you're playing like Ohio State versus Buffalo. He, I think he's at Michigan versus Buffalo. You're going to see how easy it is. They're not going to put up much of a fight. 
So you can't expect to use these small schools and go knock off like a major school. That's not really going to be realistic unless you're just like the absolute goat when it comes to, to playing this game. But he said that that's really going to be an obvious difference. Just like you have superstars and X-Factors and Madden, and you can see a difference when you play with them. That might be the difference here between you know your five-star recruit and your two-star recruit. He also said that two-star recruits aren't necessarily going to be bums. He said you might, you'll, you might have those hidden gems, just like you do in Madden, players that are drafted late in the draft class that turn out to be superstars stars are trying to be really great players he's gonna he said there's gonna be examples like that in the game most likely so it's not like you're not gonna be able to build a deep recruiting class from that now, when it comes to this game being the first in a line of many games, I think that the fact that it's being built from the ground up is really a good thing because there's so many uh, coding issues and legacy issues when it comes to Madden. Things like glitches and, and custom playbooks that have been around forever that just never seem to go away, never seem to get fixed. The fact that they're building this game from the ground up is going to mean you're not going to have to deal with any of that crap. You're not going to have to deal with a lot of those issues. Part of me honestly thought that they might just be reskinning NCAA 14, <laughs> trying to port that over i'm sure that they borrowed a lot from that as they're bringing back a lot of that stuff for uh for people that have been fans of the game and stuff like that but um but yeah the fact that it's a brand new game from the ground up sounds really encouraging it makes me think that there won't be a ton of bugs but at the end of the day there's always gonna be bugs in new games too so it's gonna be interesting to see how that works out speaking of custom playbooks there will be custom playbooks in this game i heard a rumor that there's going to be a lot of unique playbooks for teams uh, somebody suggested that each all 134 schools are going to have a different playbook, which I can't imagine that's the case. Because even in Madden, there's so many reused plays and formations. It's really uh, like they're just you know copying and pasting around. I'm sure it's going to be a lot like that. But I'm sure there'll be um, you know a lot of very unique offenses and stuff like that, which I'm probably the most excited for. Because you obviously know if you watch my channel, what I do here, I basically I, that's where I find my joy is going through uh, plays and finding the best stuff to use and just having fun with it. Now there was a couple of bummers that he also uh, mentioned um now pc i've been saying for a while it's not going to be on pc so if you like to play this game on computer uh it's too bad you're not gonna be able to play it. it's only gonna be on xbox next gen and playstation next gen uh at least this first year it says and future releases are looking to do that um, there's also a bummer if you were expecting college game day pregame show apparently there's no real affiliation with uh with espn there's no espn license it says just the broadcasters uh and there's no there's just nothing there's nothing really espn related so they have no they have no right to that um uh, which is understandable why would you want to pay espn if you don't have to but obviously the 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 you know they have espn announcers and stuff like that and the bigger games once again will have that big feel of like a major broadcast and you know all the extra fanfare and stuff like that all the extra uh, stuff going on. Uh, they also he also said that there's going to be um, sp specific crowd chants. Uh, the crowd obviously plays a big part in NCAA. He said that the crowd reactions. Each school, a lot of schools will have uh, very specific uh, crowd chances you would hear if you were actually in the stadium or watching the game on TV, stuff like that, just to bring the uh, the the atmosphere to the point with the, where they want. And uh, that's really understandable because that's typically um, what you expect in a, in, a, in a college football environment is things like that. And then last but not least, I already told you guys how they said that there could be some gameplay footage as early as the first week of June, but there could be possible deep dives as early as this week. So I'm going to end the video there, but if you guys want to stay up to date on this stuff, if you guys want me to continue to make footage like this, videos like this on these things that come out as they come out, because I expect a lot of information. I expect possible more information to come out today after I finish recording this video. So if you guys want to continue to be up to date on this stuff, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have on screen uh, some previous videos that I made about this topic. So click the links if you want to see that. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.